Yep. So um, this game's a little weird, and sometimes you have you have hands that do do one half of the deck instead of the other. And but I think I think the escape shift draws with two accelerants are a fine keep, and that's one of the reasons I added another far seek to the deck that I played this past weekend. Just have more accelerants lately. So my hand is is the nuts. Uh, we've got double temple. Okay. Uh, with some big fatties. What so, month is it? Oh man, I'm trying to learn. Is this December? Is December? I often, I think they banned the wrong land. I agree. I, I tend to agree as well. Uh, go. But again, Watsi has no idea what they're doing. <laughs> they really don't. They're just like science dogging the crap out of everything. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and fetch a temple garden and explore. I'm probably playing this other Velikado. God, this deck is so gas. We hit the sword. <laughs> it really is. And like the. I know why they banned the eye. They banned the eye because they foolishly locked onto the nut draw with the mimic. Sure. Or, but I mean, like you don't even have the nut draw with the mimic without. It's true. The, the temple. temple. Correct. Yeah. The attack like, for four. The next turn you don't yeah, even have that. Yeah. Turn. Correct. Like you can't put eight power out on turn one technically, but like that's not even why it was kept. Go ahead. It's either that, or they assumed that they wouldn't hit Tron. Also, Jesus you know what Christ. I'm saying. <laughs> right, so you thought not here. You thought not. Take, take <laughs> that's nice. Away. Go. Just flash on the rest of your hand. Thanks, Dick. All right, we'll go, ahead, we'll go ahead and cast the explorer. <laughs> yeah. um, we can play two lands. It's real awkward that we don't have another green source, so we can't play this knight that we drew. Good. And again, this is why there's metamorphos in the deck. The deck is super, super awkward. Nine. Yeah, that's it. Just okay. go to eight. I guess that's all you got. Oh, no, no. no we got it. one more. You got can't it. Keep up. Bring it, tough guy. All right, uh, play that. Play these two. Go. You won't die. <laughs> oh, good. Cool creatures. What is that? A 3 3? <laughs> Cute cards. What? <laughs> hey, you have a smasher. He does. You are not wrong. You're a 3 3 man, right? The knight of the. Uh... Where are you at? Nine? Yeah, just correct. No, I'm at uh, eight. eight. Eight, sorry, excuse me. He took the so one. So if we didn't have another smasher, we'd have a pretty good chance. This game with a lot my, of draws. Like yeah, so we'll double double block <laughs> like that. Good, take five. I'm still dead, right? Seven. That's no, seven. seven. Yeah, I go to one. Yeah. All right. Just uh, take a pain. Uh, I have a sequence of draws that kill him here. It's uh, no wait. What do you have? What's your life? <coughs> uh, uh, Nineteen. Nineteen. 19. Oh, well, never mind. Yeah, he hasn't fetched. <laughs> Yep. Hey, we do me a favor while you shuffle, you pick your deck back up. Uh, they were asking about Manamorphos, why it's good in the deck. If you want to give them a better explanation, uh, <laughs> yeah. did, I mean, like, did you see the lands I had in play there? Like, I had, I had one, I had one green source. Like, there was a hand earlier we talked about, like, where I, I literally kept three red sources: Manamorphos, Prismatic Omen, and like, yeah. that, I kept one of those hands at the tournament and won. Like, I had Valakut into Basic Ooh. Mountain into Manamorphos, Prismatic Omen, and cast all my spells. Like, so Manamorphos is it's. It's most often a redraw, right? But it also is mana fixing. Yeah, and like, so like, like just yeah. just playing a fifty-two card deck between the explorers. Like, you want to find your scape shifts consistently. You yeah. want to find your your other cards like that. I mean, so. you want to find your explorers, and your yep. mana morphos helps with that. And then you want to find your scape shifts. So yeah, it's it's basically just a cantrip, but it helps you. Yep. Curve. And I had someone I had someone else comment that I didn't have a way to beat Blood Moon in the seventy-five, and I was like, well, you just attack and kill them. You just like you mana morphos into your scape shift and like cast your scape shift for landfall triggers, and they die. Yeah. Yeah, you can definitely be Blood Moon. You don't have to kill them with Valakut. <laughs> and the nice thing about Manamorphos is somehow Jeff's going to uh, jam the Storm combo into this deck. So people, <laughs> people, people talk about, like, I think a lot of people no, confuse. I, like, um, I, I like playing Modern for the most part, but I think anyone that thinks Modern's, like, a healthy, like, good, structured, competitive <laughs> format, they're probably, like, not being realistic or understanding, like, what, what competitive people that play Magic at a high level want. I think... Modern's pushed into a lot of the territory where Legacy's been for a long time, where it's a great thirty-player tournament format, but like it's pretty high. It's pretty it's a, high variance. It's a, like I said, it's a great store credit format. <laughs> People hate that. People get super pissed when you say that. It's All right, great. so uh, Brad, SCG is a, is a great store credit. No, no, no. Oh. Modern is a great store, oh, sure. store credit format. Okay. People get really upset. And, and like that's not to say it's not fun. Like right. I have fun sure. playing this, and like you know sure. when I run good, we we top four tournaments with this deck that I'm playing. Uh, so this <laughs> hand, um, let's take him through. Brad, I'm only gonna keep my seven on the draw here. Uh, it's a little bit awkward, but uh, it's got step links on one, so it could never mulligan. And actually, if we hit um, <laughs> if we hit a green source in our first two draws, uh, we're gonna kill Brad on turn three. So cool. Now we both get to just like <laughs> aggro out. I'm gonna mulligan again. It's five lands reality smasher. And, and great. One's a temple. Surface. 
You can cast it. Right? And then I had two more tumbles on top? Or no, that was a ghost quarter. And and the tournament I top forward wasn't wasn't tiny. It wasn't large. It was 150 players. But like that's you know that's eight rounds. And I went seven one in the Swiss. Like I couldn't draw in the top eight. Had to round. play. I had a, I had an eight two record in that tournament overall. Boy, that's tough. If you want to read more about that tournament, the matches I played, and then more specific details, like a kind of a small deck tech about the deck, explaining all the different ins and outs at once. MTGCardMarket.com. We have an article going up Friday about it. <clears throat> all right. So during playtesting, we're going back to six. Reminder for folks, and so far this is a key. Unless you have two temples, you have temples, you go to five. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not explosive, but uh, Plus hand sweet too, though. it's all right. I'm gonna scry. Ooh, we have interaction. Oh, no Weird. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to keep it. You keep passing against most decks in the format here, right? Yeah, I'm pretty yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah. Starts off 18. And again, even though Brad won, we rotate the play draw and testing, so uh. Flagstone, step length is good. Beast. And so, even though this hand didn't have green mana to start, um, two flagstones means the second flagstone turns into a green source, so. This hand's not bad, actually, nowadays. Now it isn't. Yep. Oh. So I'll go ahead and we'll draw. Um, it's actually really awkward that we drew our Soaring Sea Cliff because that makes it harder to combo. Um, we're going to play flagstones and sack the, sack the new one. Does the Sea Cliff read? Target creature or your <coughs> creature? It's a target creature. Oh, good. We can make spells. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> yeah, what are we doing next turn? I'm using all my mana. So yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah. We're going to get a basic mountain here, and I'm going to play another step links and pass. So there's argument to just like take it, but since my mana is all used next turn, uh, we just want to go ahead and pass it. Said you didn't have smushers. I was lied to. Mm -hmm. Temple. Uh, I go to um, fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah, take six. six. Yep. Draw for the turn. <coughs> um, hmm. Got some choices in front of me here. When in doubt, start with the Manamorphos. Is that what I want to do? Yeah, we're gonna start with the Manamorphos. Three spells. Go ahead. Uh, make, draw. <laughs> uh, make green, white draw. You're prismatic, Owen. That's not the worst. Hey. Um, I think I'm supposed to just play. Hmm. I actually have no idea. Actually, just no idea. I, I think, I think it's. I think it's side of the reliquary here. We'll play knight. We'll play this sorry sea cliff tapped, and uh, this is only a two three, so we'll pass the turn. Yeah, the, the sample hands I picked up. I'm like, God, there's so many places to get us there. I don't know which one we're doing. That's not bad. I'm not gonna complain. I think it's only a two two. Yep. Uh, three, three. Three, three. Three, three. Sorry, yeah. I missed the flag. Uh, no blocks. Nine. Eight. He should be at eight. Oh, eight. Yep. Taking sure. twelve. Taking twelve. Good. This guy's wire. Sure. Need a scion. I got you down. Good. Pretty sure I got you. <laughs> Could we leave these scions in here? All right. So we're gonna draw for the turn here. <coughs> um, God, this guy's not having tramples. Good for us. Great, really dead. dead. I can't be dead. I, I don't know is the I'm answer. Gonna, I'm gonna I mean, I got blockers. Like if you kill me, I'll be uh, like through scapeshift or something. Cast prismatic on me? Yeah. Now you're dead. <laughs> I'm, at, I'm, at, I'm at 19, right? Cast. 18. 18. Uh, first seek. Oh, yeah. He's, there you go. Uh, okay. <clears throat> it doesn't really matter what I get. Um, I think I'm passing the turn. Um, yeah, yeah, I'll go ahead and pass the turn. So Brad's dead in our untap. We get one. We don't get thought that's weird. <laughs> how do you... I drew it. Uh, I want to know how you kill me without it, though. Escape shift, man. I don't know, but I don't think it kills me. I don't think it kills me. No, it does with his last words. Yeah. All right, so, uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, oh, sorry. You should be attacking. That's attacking two. Sure. Okay. Seven, yep. So I'm going to go ahead and block with my step links here. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, knight my flagstones, which I'm allowed to do flagstones, is all basic land types. And so how that works is the flagstones trigger is going to resolve and search before. So be huge. Before, and then the knight trigger is going to happen. And I could just make this step links big enough to eat this reality smasher, which I 
think that's what I want to do here. Six. He's going to six. He's going to take two up the sky. So I could just get a fetch land here. Another option. Another, so let's let's think about how how dead we can get Brad. Um, I could get a Malakut off of this, and that and that triggers. I say, don't forget about this. Yeah. But the spell sky the spell sky makes it more complicated. So I think I'm just getting a fetch land here, and the fetch land is going to make this a a four five, yep. and then I'm going to go ahead and fetch with the fetch land, yep. which makes this a six seven. Yep. And then your knight is. A five five, five now. Five, right. So uh, I take two in the air and one for my fetch. So I go down two five. to five. five. All right, two turn clocks. <laughs> clocks here. Yep. I'll take my skip shift away. Yep. Good. So we go ahead and we draw, and we've got redraws here. So let's go ahead and cast explore. If we hit skip shift, red dies. One time. Um, okay, we drew a fetch land. That's interesting. Um, Let's go ahead and put plated GOP out here. Um, so I think what I'm actually doing is, I think we're going to start by exploring again to see what we get with this other this other one. So we'll mm -hmm. draw. Um, all right, we drew a Valakut, so that's pretty good. And we've got two land drops, so yeah. we could probably just kill your entire board here. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and knight away this stomping ground, yep. and that'll get a Valakut. And now because Prismatic Omen's in play, this Valakut <laughs> triggers when it enters itself. So um, this Valakut is going to deal three damage to... Um, what's the best way to do this? Let's deal three damage to your, your Thought Nuts here. Sure. And then I'm going to play the second Valakut for my hand, which is my first land drop for the turn. And I'm going to get two triggers, and I'm going to kill the Spellskite with those two triggers. And then I'm going to play this fetch land out of my hand, which triggers off the prismatic omen and gives me two triggers here. So we're going to deal uh, two more to this, or three more to this, and then three to this noble hierarch. And I'll draw a card from that dying. Then we draw another fetch land. So we'll play that fetch land and do three here and three to bread. Yep. So bread goes to what? 15. 15. And then I'll uh, crack both these fetch lands, which will do 12 to bread, and then the step lengths will kill bread. <laughs> <laughs> and that and that's that turn how it goes. is why I picked up this deck and I looked at it and I was like, <laughs> "This is a deck full of magic cards. <laughs> I want to play. Stupid. It's just there's there's so you took my scape shift away and I you did. died." Yes. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> and that that is why even if modern's not perfect and I think it needs some work, you can do sweet things like that. <laughs> oh, that was great. Wrath your board and kill you. I might. I might. So knights basically. A Knight is insane. It's a scape ship. Almost. Correct. Yeah, yeah. It is. It is literally a scape ship with a sort of a lot of time. Yeah, yeah. Sick. Mm. Knight of the Reliquary. Search one of those lands up. I played. I played two fetch lands and a Valakut, and I cast two explorers that turn. Actually, cast two explorers. I mean, you didn't really you have to wipe his board. You could Correct. Have, you could have just killed him. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, no, I, I had to wipe his board uh, so the step lengths didn't could get through. Yeah, could get through. So otherwise, he had the spell sky, and I had to kill that. And then right. I had to kill the thought not to draw the extra line. Oh, he did the Yeah, yeah. yeah. <sighs> I don't want to play this game. Ooh, Ooh baby. <laughs> Yep, and it's great. Uh, <laughs> let's take you through why it's great real quick here, and Brad can talk about his as well. Um, again, we don't have all our colors, but we have Prismatic Omen, so we do. Um, we've got some plated GOPs and an Explore and Interaction, so sign me up. All right, we've got uh, just a one-lander, but we've got Ancient Strings to find lands, we've got a Noble Hierarch, and we also have uh, Eldrazi Displacer, which I think could be an okay card in this matchup. Good. And there's another land, so we've got 18, play Noble Hierarch. Yep. I will go to 18 and play Plated GOP to end pass. Okay. Also could be good later. Go ahead and put Pragmatic on the yes. screen for the folks who are wondering. Oh, that's awkward. I don't have colorless. Yeah, you know, colorless matters. You got a stirrings for the temple. It's fine. I believe in you. Yeah. Oh, no. What have I done? Two, three, four, five. We'll take the colorless land. Not a temple, but okay. um, don't really want any of those cards down there. All right, Eldrazi. Um, 
pass, and then in your upkeep. And we don't we Actually, don't in your draw step, sorry. Sure. So I'll draw. That gives me a chance to draw the basic lands. Yep. You should you should draw stuff that <coughs> against decks that don't have likely have interaction. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get our basic forest out here. We don't have a basic planes in the deck, so we can't fetch one of those, which has been a little awkward sometimes, but the mana base in this deck is stretched in a lot of di different directions between needing <laughs> mountains and valakuts and flagstones and targets for the flagstones and the valakuts, and it's just, it's not super pretty. Um, so we're going to go ahead and play out the second plated GOP that we have, play out this windswept teeth, we got this land off of Brad's path, and uh, pass the turn. And again, we want to hold this windswept teeth for as long as possible until we need this landfall trigger, or until um, we have Prismatic Omen or something like that to use with right. it. Uh, I'm just going to make a note of this. It doesn't matter in this matchup, but I see this happen a lot. So I'm going to make Colorless with this, which means uh, you could counter it. I see a lot of people that just tap their lands, play this, and then the other guy's got a mana leak, and they don't ever leak it. Yep, because you know? you, Brad's not obligated to announce that this is counterable. Yep, exactly. Which, if you're the Eldrazi player, you cast your spell like this and it's legal, and you don't tell them that it's counterable. Exactly. If they ask you, you cannot lie to them, but right. you don't have to give them the derived information. Yep. Go ahead. So, um, hmm. Also, uh, don't ask, did you make mana with the, with the cavern to your opponent? Because they, they say yes. Uh, I, I watched a judge call where uh, an, they called the judge. He's like, he told me he made mana with it. And they're like, well, how else did he cast his spell? <laughs> like, that, that was the judge's So response. I'm going to go ahead and play uh, Stomping Ground untapped. Yep. I'm going to go ahead and play uh, Prismatic Omen. I'm going to go ahead and cast Explore. Yep. I'm going to go ahead and play uh, Soaring Sea Cliff and Trigger Valakut. Deal two dam three damage to your Noble. Uh, give this flying. Okay. Attack for five. Uh, i got to take three. Fifteen. I'm going to pass your guy. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get a Mountain Trigger Valakut. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that Valakut trigger is going to uh, deal three damage to your Matter Reshaper. I'll trigger that. Yep. What's the right right question to that? What color mana did you make with your Cavern of Souls? That is the correct answer. You could also ask them point blank, is this counterable? Yep. Can this be countered? They don't ask, is this a legal target for my counter spell? Because spells Everything that can't is. be countered are legal targets right. for your counter spell. Coming for the matter shaver. Oh yeah. Bang! I got, I got you, fam. Have that. Boo. I'm gonna land off the top. So unlucky. I don't know. This deck sucks without soul lands. Go. Yep. Uh, another battery shaper. We really don't care about that right now, so we're <coughs> going to go ahead and draw because we could hit another Valakut here. Uh, Is that his uh, play this land, bolt this battery shaper. Trigger. Ooh, that's not a land. Sure. Uh, and then we'll just go ahead and pass. We're digging deep. You're still like 15. Yeah, I think we're supposed to be killing bread stuff at this point. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> what did we get with that trigger? Untap, matter so, uh, We'll play a fetch land yep. and trigger Valica and kill this. Trigger. Nice. Jesus Christ. That's the second one. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Sick. So good. Um, you get a path. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, I yeah. don't, don't want to. Should wait till my FD, right? Yeah, or at least we should, def I should yeah. definitely wait till your. Yeah, I'm just going to draw here. If you don't want to give me a fifth land. Um, so we have another Prismatic Omen here, but I want to hold that in case uh, we want to discard it to a Reality Smasher later. And yeah, I think. We're, see, if I just hit Scape Shift, you die. If I hit another, val if I hit another well, Valakut, you die. Like you I'm at. I'm at 16. You yeah, I think I'm just. Gonna, I think I'm just going to path this now. Okay. So that way, I'm going to tap my Soaring Seat to do it. <laughs> that's a legal play. Yeah. Nice. You got me. And then uh, let's cast this Manamorphose for green red. Get those, those redraws in here. And then uh, we hit another land, so we'll play that and deal three to bread. All right, I'm at 12. Yep. And uh, he's at 12, and we have nine damage in play right now. So just another land kills him. Nice. Yep, I only, only have one card, so. Seven. Was it nine? Play, play. <laughs> Play this Valakut, deal 60. Oh, right, right, right. Fetch these, deal damage right, to right, you. Right. 
If there were you another Valakut which right. kills Brad, uh, over kills Brad, any land would have killed him there. Yep. I wasn't entirely sure what lights were at the end of that game, but it didn't matter, so. I believe Jeff was a 7. Or something like that. Uh, I think he was at 11. Oh, I was sorry. At, I, I like wrong. never hit him. I was it not dead? It's <laughs> <laughs> a good life total. It's good, not zero. It's good, good solid life total. <laughs> somewhere, somewhere above zero. I, I have not lost the game. <laughs> so how many ghost quarter decks did you play against? Uh, zero. Yeah. Okay. I feel like that card would be pretty good against you. Yeah, because yeah. the Valakuts just like sit and play. I do have four yeah. Valakuts though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, <laughs> yeah, it's good against one of the planes. Sure. And that's why you know a lot of people you know like I I, I told this story before the stream started in my actually the, that Judd player said he was in the chat earlier in our first first game in my top uh, winning in for top eight I knew I was playing against Judd and I kept five lands explore escape shift on the play. And I drew Prismatic Omen on turn six after my opponent discarded my scape shift, and I just killed him with the Valakuts that I had in play on some <coughs> fetch lands. And then in game two, I went and turn one step links, turn two played a GOP, turn three played a GOP, and he had boarded out a lot of his removal. So I yep. killed him with scape shift and Valakuts in game one. <laughs> Who did like... you lose a bet to to end up playing this pile of cards? <laughs> I'll have you know that this pile of cards paid for my flight to Richmond. God bless. <laughs> I'm on the draw this game. That sounds, sounds right. <laughs> uh, I think the decision to play Ghost Quarter just depends on what deck you're playing. Right? Yeah. yeah so can, can you afford to run that card? Uh, so this hand um, is, again, I, I'm actually, I haven't actually mulliganed that much with the deck tonight so far, but I think I think this hand's a pretty... It's, it's borderline. I, I guess we have to technically have interaction if Brad's playing uh, a faster deck, but I think at... Like, if this was a random six with, like, one land removed, I think I'd be more inclined to keep it because I could just scry. But I think uh, at seven, I am I am definitely going to mulligan this. Um, and that's what, kind of one of the interesting things that the mulligan rule has created. It encourages you to mulligan close sevens and keep close sixes. Yeah. And so this is a close seven, and I'm going to go ahead and mulligan it. How does your deck ever beat Bongo? <clears throat> How does it beat Bongo? Did someone ask that? <laughs> no. It's okay. The next question I'm assuming love, we I, have to field. I, I, have someone, I, I love when people... <laughs> it's funny. So it's I was jamming games with this against people on Saturday before the Classic after I scrubbed the Open. And uh, uh, Robert Wright had this blue-red Delver Burn deck. And we played close to a dozen games and I didn't win one of them. Sure. And he was like, that deck seems really <laughs> bad. And I was like, well, I mean, my Tier 4 deck doesn't beat your Tier 4 <laughs> deck, but that's probably okay. Fine. Yeah. Place to be. <laughs> yep. I'm on the player draw. Uh, you're on the play. All right. Sorry. I'm gonna keep. It's not good. It's very slow. Oh, but it's definitely a keep. Keep a little. I have a stirrings. If we hit a temple, the hand is a lot better. We'll see. I mean, I'm gonna... my hand is. <laughs> this is. Uh, this is. This is a greedy six. I think on the draw with a scry, I'm gonna keep it. You definitely mulligan on the play, but. My balls are huge. Uh, scry, and look at that. White source right Bang. at the top. Never didn't have it. <laughs> right. You got it. Exactly. Have it every time. I mean, I don't have to. The deck plays 26 lands, okay? Go. Some of which are white. Yeah, like that's that's white. But, then <laughs> but then the next turn, I'm like land going. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that's just yeah, awful. I mean, All right. Starts off. Uh, Yellow My Coast, 19 stirrings. Sure. Damn. That's not the look of a man that's about to break. No. We missed completely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 18 step lengths on my side of the table. Good. It was the sixth card. No. <laughs> Boy, that one's bad. Uh, Eldrazi. My turn? Yes. Oh, God. That's so good for me. Uh, jock myself down to whatever. And 16. Attack. 16, 17? Seven. Plated GOP. Go. Right. One time, Daddy. <laughs> nice. Right. We're just losing to our lands. Go ahead. That's okay. I, it happens. Yep. I don't know. Go ahead. I might, there was a Temple Garden in those five, right? Yes. I might have taken it. I don't know. Just, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Knowing this was yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did, you, you, did you already have a three drop? No, you had, I didn't. No. I didn't. No. I, I picked that up. I mean, you had like mono. No, damage. but you're right. I should have taken the Temple Garden. Switch it. Exactly. All right, so, so what we're going to do here is. Um, so we need to rewind it. We're, we're, we're just going to rewind a turn here. And we do this if you've watched the stream before. Yeah, in playtesting, we fix. Don't shuffle. Oh, right. right. The, the Matter Shaper just goes on bottom. So we're just changing what Brad took from his stirrings because the conservative play is to take the land there when he doesn't have a third one. All right. 
So you would have played that so on played two, and then taps, on three you would have played that and tavern, and then pass. You're up. I think that's we're gonna draw. I'm gonna shock two. So we just reround and fix 14. it so we play more of a game. <laughs> no, you're absolutely right. Go to fourteen. Right. Right. Attack red for five. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have path on your turn and giving me an extra land this turn? <laughs> I don't. It's probably not. Probably yeah. not. Oh, know. yeah, then you died to escape shift. Yeah. Like, <laughs> that's kind of what I'm thinking. So I can path, take an extra two, so I'm like saving myself three damage. All right. There, yep. So path that. Go get a, a basic mountain here. Red <laughs> takes four. So oh, man, no. four. 13. You've taken two I gotta twice. Less than that. No, you no take, one, once. Just once. Oh, once. You've taken one, four. And then two last turns. You've taken seven. Yeah, you're at 13. 13. Okay. 13. I got you. All right, cool. And then I'm going like to go ahead and play a Knight of the Reliquary. <laughs> yep. And pass turn. Okay. Not the worst, man. I mean, it's it not could, the worst. Be, I'm not complaining. Could be worse. The red creature, can you put Plated GMP on the thing? I think you'd not do it, main phase. On this one? Yeah. Plated, plated GOP to Step yeah. Link's brother. And he's right. It's hard. I'm going to path the knight now. Yep. The reason I'm doing it on the main phase this time is like if I untap path it, he gets to go get a land with the knight. That's a fetch land. Correct. Yep. And then he, he's hitting three land drops minimum, potentially four. Uh, it's just a lot. Good. <laughs> All right. Drop. Play this Valakut. That's not good. Here, what? 13. 13. That's question. Need to be my right. favorite question to ask. If two different lines here, um, they're both, so both my lines are bad against your removal spell, but uh, one of them is less bad. So I'm going to start by attacking for two. No luck. So you take two? All right, love it. I'm going to path my settlings. Yep. Oh, no, wait, that's bad because I don't, ooh, I forgot I have both my basics out. Hmm. Am I supposed to play around Dismember here? I don't think I am. I don't think so. Yeah, so I'm going to try and kill you with Escape Shift then. Oh, pre... Pre-combat. Pre-combat. Yeah. So my, my line, my, in my head, I was Perfect. like, I can hit yeah. you for two, path this, and then... I have a path, I just can't do it. Yeah, kill you with Valakut Trigger. So yeah. basically, yeah. pre-combat, I'm going to cast Escape Shift and sacrifice my six lands and get a bunch of landfall triggers for the step links. And 12 damage off the landfall. A lot, a lot of these decks are omitting uh, Dismember. Too. Are they? Yeah, okay. they are. A lot of them. They're playing sp Spell Skate instead. Okay. Engineered explosives. And, and e yeah. yeah. Seth had it in his main board when I played him with the GP. Yep. He blew me out. What are the aggro escape shift hard matchups? And I doubt anyone in the world has played enough <laughs> with this deck to tell you what. I gotta imagine that burn is burn impossible awful. to beat. Yeah, burn's right. <clears throat> Affinity. Now removal heavy games aren't don't seem bad. Like the, the, you come off the top of the your deck. the Delver deck that I lost to was basically a blue red burn deck. Sure. It was it didn't no. have removal. It was it was pyromancers and no, it wasn't even pyromancers. It was monastery so spears and uh, storm chaser mages and Delvers and yeah, pyromancers is even worse for you. Correct. Yeah. Walk for like, Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Can you do this? Uh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. I would think like. I don't know. Because you, you have a play game and have ability too. Correct, yeah, yeah. You could just like kill Jund off the top. And like and they have to have the right half of their deck to line up against the half of the deck that I've drawn for that particular game. Yeah. Uh, we are currently playing Modern. It is one of the constructed formats that spans uh, cards from eighth edition and forward, basically the new bordered cards is the long and short of it. I am on the play this time around. Um, so, my this hand's here. Uh, do you want to switch between the hands? Yeah, you're going to switch. What? Um, he doesn't. I don't know if he knows how to do it. I'm looking at it. So, on the... Hold on oh. one second. We've got a new camera guy. We're going to walk him through the buttons here. So, on the on mouse here, Yep. Uh, this button here is my hand okay. on, the, on the bottom. Mm -hmm. This button here is Brad's hand. And 12 the middle. 12 the middle. Okay. And then to show a card preview is 8. To hide the card preview is 9. Okay. On the second row up there. Got it. That's yep. Sweet. So... Uh, and then uh, to do life totals, you just, uh, you're already clicked on there, you just use the arrow keys okay. up and down. So on my side of the table, um, our, hand, our 26 land dex hand is a little land heavy, but we've got plated GOP and accelerant on the play, so hand seems reasonable to keep, I think. This is the hands you sign up for to play 
with this deck, I feel like. Like, I just have a couple three drops with the Noble. They're not particularly powerful, and we just kind of hope that we go to the long game. Pray you don't get molded. Yeah. <laughs> Valakut, go ahead. Still pray you don't get molded. <clears throat> All right, so the decision here is always, I can play Noble off the brush land for 19, but since I'm using this breeding pool next turn, yep. I need to shock. So Brad goes down to 18 from that. I draw, I draw another accelerant, which is pretty sick. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, shock off my stopping ground, so it'll be 18 up yep. and play this uh, plated geopede out. Yep. Uh, go ahead. Uh, Brad, you said Brad to zero. Oh. Brad should be at 18. Happen. Don't click any of the yeah, buttons can. on the side. Okay. While you're, if you click up here, you can just use the arrow keys. Okay. So go ahead and click there. And then Which of these do yep. I want to block with the most? I guess we can play around removal and have more mana next turn. Play this. Yep. That's kind of annoying because it <clears> does, like Brad said, it lets him lets him block here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start by casting Explore. So let's me draw a card and play an additional land. And then we've got a few choices here, but I think it's just going to be <coughs> uh, land drop one, land drop two, crash for five. I think that the Scion is actually more valuable than the Sky Spawner in this situation. So, block. Yep. Good. Take a look at my cards? No. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Go. Hmm. And he's leaving. Is was sacking the Scion better than using this? Yes. Yep. Why? Spell Pierce, also, Path Exile. Also colored mana. Okay. But, I mean, that can cast Path. Oh. Hmm. And like you don't need to represent spell pierce, do you? That's fair. I well, I still I have to, to hold up a mana. I need to sack this. Oh, yeah, yeah I'm in it. I'm so in it doesn't Yeah, matter. you're right. You're yeah. right. You're right. I was thinking that that doesn't hold up to it. Okay, right. I got you. This is why I don't play the Eldrazi deck. Sorry. And and it's good for me to understand what's going on and why. Yep. So this this is Brad representing a removal spell, sacrificing that. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw a card and uh, mana morphos again. We don't always need the fixing, but um, when we don't need it, we can use them pretty aggressively here. So we'll start by just cycling this for green red. And then we'll cycle this for green white. Yep. Storm count two. Storm count is two. Mm -hmm. um, tap on land here. Play Nether Oak Quarry. Yep. Storm count is three. <laughs> That's true. Uh, play Flagstones of Trill Care. Um, I take four three. Uh, black. Yep. Tricky. Yep. Worth. Uh, play Step Links. Storm is four. Sure. Okay. Uh, sure. <laughs> go ahead and get the basic mountain here since we are getting to a point where this battle could, could start triggering naturally sometime soon. Interesting. Yeah. Get the drowner. Drowner. Yep. Alright. Got a lot of draws to kill Brad here. Hmm. Can you cut, cut me one of them? Sure. Oh, 18 to 18? Yes. Yeah, they have a right. fester shocked. <clears throat> Shall I return? I think so. Yeah. Alrighty. So we'll draw uh, another Valakut. Does that do anything? We only have three mountains right now. This yeah. is a fourth mountain. Um, I think I'm going to play this Flagstones, and then that triggers a Legendary roll, so we get one land drop, and then the Flagstone searches and gives us a second land drop, and I'm going to enter combat. I think it's best to just tap his guys, so, yep. Good. Yeah, I think it's fine. Based on what's uh, in the hand. Uh, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Like, he doesn't have Trample, so I could also just, like, let him go to combat and block, but if he goes to combat, then, like, paths one or something, like... I think this is just the best line. Yeah. Uh, take seven. Seven. So Go to eleven. 11. Yep. You have enough to. Uh, I don't know. Is it eleven now? 
What you got? Yep. <clears throat> this place, sir. Yep. Yeah. Turn turn. Yep. <clears throat> so a little draw, and uh, that was actually the best draw on the deck. Play for the magic coming. We did. Play second Valakut. Yeah. Uh, what life you at? 11. 18. No, he's at 18. No, I'm at 18. Oh. 18. Uh, he's at 11. Oh. Correct. Okay. Right. Uh, Brad, Brad is dead though. Uh, so Valakut comes into play, we're going to do 6 to you, and then I have Farseek. And then Farseek's going to do 6 to Brad, and then I'm going to crack this fetch and do another 6 to Brad. 18, like that sees. Yep. So again, Prismatic Owen for people that are new that have been watching the stream all night. Makes all of my lands all basic land types, so this Valakut triggers on itself entering. <coughs> and we have a second Valakut here, so each of those deal 6. And then the fetch line that I've been leaving there uncracked for this exact situation, deal six when it gets a land, and then we far seek into a land that triggers as well. I think it was dead. Even, uh, even without the Prismatic Omen there, I was going to get uh, four triggers. I was sure, going to okay. play a Valakut and then fetch and far seek. Maybe it was only two triggers, but it was still enough to kill one of your guys, so I wasn't <laughs> going to be just dead. I think. I don't know. I had a you smasher. Were die. You were going to die because you had smasher. What, what life was that? 11. 11. He was able I to, needed to hit with tap. I, yeah, I, needed, I was going to double blink my Drowner and have one Scion left over. Oh, you could blink the Drowner. Or blink yeah, the Drowner. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. yeah you're right. You're sure, I was dead. Yeah. That was one of my many draws that killed me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thanks for the cut. <laughs> Not wrong. <laughs> I say that to people in tournaments too sometimes. Can you, can you cut? I got a couple draws that cut you. Can you cut me? Nope. Any any mind games, especially if it's like game one or game two, because some people get tilted when they do that and they cut you. I play right off the top too if it kills one. You have to. You have to. You're just like all right, just slam it. Slam that bad baby. Miracle your card every time. Every time. Yeah. I miracle the burn card every time. You're play, a, you're play a what? more of these placement okay. Sure. I feel like Bolt is definitely better against you than Path. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, just you ramping you feels awful. <laughs> Half the time. So, um, the the list that I took from one of the Grand Prix was playing with Boombus in the main and passing the board. And after playing enough sideboarder games where I was pathing my own creatures enough of the time, oh, I was sure. like, not only are these just better interaction against, like, Infect and stuff, but, like, they're, like, makeshift rampant growth, so. That's fair. Who's going to go first? Uh, I believe it's me. Yeah. Since you need to go first. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I don't hate this hand. I don't hate it, but I'm not. Alright, tell, tell us why we don't hate it. What's reasonable about it? A couple lands, a couple nobles, some top end, and an ancient stirrings. Um, it's, it's not super aggressive, but it's definitely playable. Yeah. My hand's got modern staple plated GOP in it, and explore mm. some lands. What's not to love? Start us off. Don't hate it, don't love it. 19. Has Noble Hierarch, don't hate it, can't get out of here. All right, so we drew Mr. Steplinks here on turn one. Um, kind of also I just think, like I think I'm going to leave on that. I'm going to go, I'm gonna go Temple Garden Steplinks here because if we draw, <coughs> yeah. if we run goods here, oh, yeah. we could possibly kill Brad on well, I need the white if I very quickly. Right, yeah. Go ahead. But I have a, yeah. Okay. All right. Interesting. All right, I'm not hating that. Uh, we could play another Noble here and kind of set up for next turn, but I think it's best just to like get some defense on the board and do everything with our mana. Eldrazi. Yep. Go. Is that counterable, sir? Uh, it is not. <laughs> it's not. It's so, so. I'm crazy like a fox. I've already done both of those. Set this up next turn. It is unfortunate that we did not find a, a untapped land here to allow us to play the GOP. But we do have Soaring Sea Cliff. Attack for two in the oh, air. Right. <laughs> yeah. Seven, Play step like yep. Good. You said I needed to do what now? Yeah. Uh, yeah. What's it like? Ooh. Yep. Take eight. eight. Go to. No, I, I fetch shocked. Yeah. I'm at uh, nine. You're nine now. Dead on board. All right. We'll draw here. Um, Thing. Gosh, we're <coughs> so close to killing you. No, no. So close and so far away at the same time. I uh, cast Explore. Mm -hmm. You have another Smasher? No. That would be rude if you do. We will in a minute, though. We <laughs> will in a bit. Right, play, play my two. It's right there on top play of the Play my two line. lands. Um, what do you have, Fred? He's at 17, 17 currently. That's it, just 17. Only 17. <laughs> All right, so we play two lands. Uh, attack for eight. Yeah. Nine, nine, nine for everybody. Hmm. So there's a path. 
front row. At least he's representing a path. Right, you're, you can't kill him this turn. No, I can't. <clears throat> Take one. Yep. Boy, that's good. Yeah. Like, about not to here. No. Another smasher, sure. Sure. <laughs> Don't plan on using that. <clears throat> I think we have to leave Matter Shaper back. And this is lethal, so he has yeah. to. Yep. I'm going to bath one of those uh, discarding plated GP. Yep. And so we you, you are four. And uh, we kill Brad with the green source here. So. Alright. Four to nine. Which it. includes Metamorphose. Oh god, it has to be green source, it doesn't damage us. Right. So it basically has to be, has to be Metamorphose. We did. Alright. So cast explorer just just in case. Right. No! Who's the next card? Who's <laughs> the next card? I tap my land yeah. right there, technically, but Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We were we were one off. So if Brad if we would have hit the Manamorphos instead of uh, the step legs that turn, we'd have Manamorphos and Escape Shift and then both of these would have been lethal to kill Brad, so because you're at nine, right? Yeah. Yeah. Nine to four, yeah. They would both they'd have both been like ten or twelve power. Trying to think if you was there any way you could just play your step links and then like you no, didn't I have didn't a fetch and I'm at one. Right. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and close close this matchup out. Yeah, stop recording.